Hello people, this is Betanex and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, I beat the fourth and final Cypher Admin, if you consider him that. Ian, actually, in the Shadow Pokemon Lab after finally making it to the end of that place. Jeez, it took really long. <laughs> well, not like the other places didn't really take as long. But anyway... If you remember, we actually got out of the Sh Shadow Pokemon Lab and got an email on the PStarDA from Net saying that if we found any data in the Shadow Pokemon Lab to come bring it to him and he could analyze it, of course, like, the game didn't know that we had it right then. And actually, okay, Kitsune kind of said something about being able to change the ringtone. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot about this. <laughs> okay, I like these things. Okay, guys, uh, probably by the next episode, I'll go back and listen to those since it was kind of glitchy on this end for some reason. But the audio is kind of lagging for me. Uh, by the next episode, I'll have a new one. I don't know if it'll be heard at all, but you never know. We'll see. Anyway, onward. All we have now to do, really, is to go see Net. And if you remember correctly, he is down in the under. You know, remember, he's a little brainiac kid. Oh yeah, before we actually get started, I guess I should mention... I did go ahead and teach Earthquake to Flame. Because only Flame and Cloud here, they were the only ones that could learn it. And again, Cloud, there wasn't really any moves I wanted to get rid of at this time. And Flame has a higher attack power to use it a bit better anyway. Besides... Cloud here is the only one that can resist, outright resist Earthquake, and if he's the one with Earthquake, that's going to kind of be a little redundant. So, that'll lead these two to be a bit of a better team for now. Uh, oh yeah, and I actually went and taught V Protect, so I can use Dokim's Protect and Earthquake combo, actually, if I wanted to now. I'll actually be coming up with a few more combos before the end of this LP, but for now, I think we'll just continue on. There's nothing else I really wanted to change that I can change at this moment. So if you remember correctly, we head down here across the UFO. Not too much to do. And yeah, if you guys were wondering why I was in Agate Village, I have been spending time purifying those Pokemon and... Since I had to go away the other day, I did actually use the little trick thing that makes a screen shake for a couple of Pokemon. I didn't use it for all of them, but I did. I, I will admit, I won't lie to you, I did use it for a few. Anyway, here's a bit. Hi, babe. Did you meet up with that silver guy? He was saying something about going to check out Real Gam Tower. Where is this Real Gam Tower, anyway? Oh, is this a new place on our map? Hmm. I wonder. Anyway, let's go talk, Let's go down and talk to Nat. Not much else to do. I don't make. Hey, nerd. I mean, net. Oh, beta. How did it go? Did you find any data? And <laughs> did beta find data? Ha! Yeah, that was a bit lamer than even a Chug Conroy joke, but whatever. I'll take it. Oh, no, this looks interesting. Let's scope it out right away. Oh, hey, this data ROM. This data ROM appears to contain a list of Shadow Pokemon that have been made so far. Ah, but no! Looks like they've wiped the data. Data. Beta. <laughs> Let's leave this with me. Please leave this with me. I'll somehow try retrieving information from this data ROM, even if it means going over it little by little. Beta, as soon as I discover anything, I'll email your PStarDA. Ooh, it looks like we will be getting an email. Eventually. I don't know. What do you have to say? Oh, Beta, did you go to the lab? Are you both okay? Or are both of you okay? Well, we're here, aren't we? I'm so glad. That's my hero. You're so inspiring. I said it before, I'll say it again. Wes is a player. 
or in this case, Beta. Not me, Beta, but dude with glasses and the awesome motorbike, Beta. Anyway, guys, uh, to save you the trouble, I think I'll go meet you back on the world map. Be right back. Whee! What the heck? So when is this guy here? Hello? We finally finished working on that gigantic tower. Oh, wait, did it take a long time to build or what? I don't know when was, when was the last time I went back home. You go on up there and see it for yourself. It's clean and shiny. That's what I call it, gorgeous. As you people may know, I have ADOS. Attention deficit, ooh, shiny. So I may like this place. And... There's no new place on our map, what the hell? What's with this? <gasps> Real Gam Tower, that's where the construction site was. That was what they were building. Holy crap, look at that thing, they built it fast. An immense tower that was finally completed as Cypher's base. It has a coliseum on top. Wait, this is Cypher- What? What? Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, no time like the present. Let's go. On my awesome motorbike. Oh my god! I almost forgot about the music to this place! Dude! Er, and dudettes. Hello, welcome to the Real Gam Tower. Today is our opening day. We've been expecting you. Now please, do go in. Oh, well, that can't be good. They're expecting us? The men in black were expecting me. And let's see, Widow. <laughs> Why they put a pseudo Widow? Oh god, no. Is he back? Is he back? I think he's back. Oh, I guess we'll see. Uh, hello? Screen? Oh. <laughs> Sorry guys, my screen kind of bugged out there. I couldn't tell what happened. Uh, let's see, okay, this must be like a little scale model of the... of the real game tower so far. Nice. Oh. Actually, wait, one moment, guys. Okay, and I'm back. Sorry, I had to check on something again. I do that too often. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, before I forget, sorry about the whole gap in episodes last week. Oh, God, that is an awesome little escalator thing. Oh, my God, he is back. I knew it! Barrels! I knew it! <laughs> anyway, sorry about the gap in episodes last week. I had to study so much for finals and just... There was a lot of work I had to do for those last couple episodes, given with Bios, Raiko. Speaking of which, how do you guys like that picture? I kind of liked how Raiko's picture came out. I did use the shiny Raiko pose from the Zorark movie as kind of a reference. I did not trace, but it was a reference. Anyway, here we go. Guess we have to battle this guy again. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. You've been, you've kept me hanging around, beta. You ruined things in pirate for us. But you know, we're not about to lose over and over to you. This time, I'll win. And I mean it this time. Let the music play. Oh, never mind that. We'll battle right away. No. No. Wh why? Why would, you, why would you do that? No. This is not his music. This is not his mu Don't get me wrong, I love the song, but this is not his music. Oh my god, I forgot they did this. Ah, oh god, how can you have a Myra B fight without the tan 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 Jeez, if it wasn't for the actual battle sounds being included in this, <laughs> I would just switch it out for his music. Anyway, guys, he starts off with Golduck here. Ooh, that's not good. I hate it when they start off with a Pokemon as Ice Beam. Fine, let's see what else can I do. I'll bring out Uve for good measure. Go, Uve! Let's kick some arse. Kick some arse and take some names. Really? They both tried using it on me? 
<laughs> Look how little damage that did. Wow. Okay, that was surprising. Oh, let's hope this takes it down. Yes! Revenge! Yeah. I was trying to think of a name that wouldn't be too offensive to my viewers. <laughs> but then, revenge, duck. And yes, he's also got a Loudred this time. And guys, as you know from before, these lu these Ludicolo, just like Lombre, you'll want to watch out. Because they can be very devastating. Just defensive-wise. They're very defensive Pokemon. And can be a real bugger to take down. But if you know how to do it, they shouldn't be too much of a problem. So, let's start taking down these Pokemon. Like I said, let's kick some arse and take some names. Kick some Pokemon take some experience points? I don't really know. God, it's really bad if you're losing commentary this early in the video, but hopefully this guy isn't too much of a hassle to beat. I really am hoping that. And Loudred is down in one hit as well. God, he looks so stumpy in this bird in this game. He doesn't look so short and ogreish in the other games. Oh man, double Ludicolo, really? Really? That's just not fun. Nip 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 nip. Never fun. Uh, let's see, I can talk to the other. Confuser. Uh. Crap. Well, I'll do neutral damage, so might as well. Oh, that's not good. Ah, no. At least it only hits one Pokemon. Though maybe better if it hits two, because it would do just minuscule damage. Luckily, these guys don't have too much of a problem <laughs> offensive-wise, but before I actually forget, you guys will want to make sure to watch out for one thing that Myra B has up his sleeve this time. He has actually a, a Hyper Potion this time, so he can and will fully heal one of his Pokemon. Ah, uh, that Rain Dish is not going to be fun. But he can and will fully heal one of his Pokemon. Uh, in this battle if you don't take them out quickly enough so that is definitely something to watch out for okay at least he only used it when it was like half health so not too dangerous oh so much for not too dangerous well that's not good uh, let's see flame probably would not be a good idea here Octorok at least would be able to resist some of it hmm no, I'm gonna try OB. Hopefully nothing too bad happens here, like one of these guys using Waterfall and killing V in the first turn, it's out. And by the way guys, don't worry, I will actually be doing some off-screen training after this episode, because I am definitely gonna need to jump up my episode for these upcoming battles. I mean, other than my other than the admins here, like my B, uh, and the major battles which there are quite a few coming up uh, there's not too much to worry about but still it would be nice to just be careful well let's get some major damage in on these guys <laughs> that one's doing nothing but taking damage this turn let's go let's kick some ass yes I know I said ass that time instead of ours I don't care I don't care son I don't care I don't care, Disco Dude. Disco Dude, why you no play your music? Why you no play your music? It is awesome. It's very catchy. And it would make more sense with these dancing Ludicolo everywhere. I mean, look at that. They could dance perfectly to music. I mean, seriously, hit it. You can't say that doesn't fit better with their dancing. <laughs> Let's see, let's try a double return. Ah, uh, balls. No, 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 no. Okay. That's alright. Come on. Ah, uh, close. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, I'm first. One Ludicolo down, and one is gonna die very soon due to that poison. See what I mean about these guys being defensive annoyances? And Arm Armaldo? He had Armaldo? 
Okay, I did not know that he had an Armaldo with him. Um, that's a bit of a surprise. Potentially not a good one. Uh, we will want to take that thing down as soon as possible. Uh, let's see, what would be the best way of going about this? First, confuse Ray just to be safe. I think it's part rock, so I can't use that. Aye. Okay, this battle turned a bit more interesting just now. Hopefully I don't come into too much trouble. Luckily, Uwe here with his defensive capabilities and his status conditions really makes for a good spot on my team. He's definitely been one of my most useful Pokemon so far in keeping me alive. Uwe is one of the Pokemon where I don't need it to be a high level just to be completely awesome in this. Yeah, that's not going to save you from the poison. Okay, thank god. Haha, -ha. you are dead. Ludicolo down. Could not withstand the poison. Wonder, didn't the Pokemon Stadium announcer dude have like something to say about if they died from poison? I know there's something he said. I got I gotta actually go up and try and look up that guy's little quotes from all the battles. I damn it, they were funny. And catchy. They always stuck in my head, honestly. Ooh, almost got a level here. Any more Pokemon? Nope. What do you have to say for some? I'm an awesome dancer, but I can't win in battles. What are you doing right there? So like he's got his hand on his nose, and he's like leaning forward, trying not to fall over. Maybe it's the weight of that Pokeball on his head just getting too much for him. This just won't do, but I'll admit you've beaten me thoroughly. Okay, since I'm done, I'll give you this. Here. And we get the red ID badge. That should be useful. Think of that as a little gift from our great leader, Nascor. Don't leave without it, because you'll get nowhere. But, you know, maybe it'd be for your own good, if you didn't go on. Foo ho ho ho. And off he runs. <laughs> I have to say, that run he did right there is kind of entertaining. Let's see, uh... You know what, even though I know for some people it can't really be considered short, I think to conserve a actual short battle for once, I think I'll hang out here with the Men in Black and the Sudowoodo statues. That'd be creepy if they changed to something else. But, I think we'll call this an episode, and definitely a shorter one for me, at least. Well, this is more a normal one. These last few episodes have been extra long, but that is mostly because of major boss battles. And as you guys can tell, there are many coming up. But anyway, guys, this has been Beta Knights for Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. I'll catch you all next time. And next time, we continue deeper into the real game tower. Hopefully getting higher and higher to the top to figure out what the whole plan is with the Shadow Pokemon here and what we can do about Cypher's boss Nascor. You know, Mr. Sephiroth dude. Well, hopefully we'll figure that out. Catch you all next time, guys. Keep it real.